Hello! In this brief video, we will walk through the steps of creating a quiz in your eClass course. To begin, start by clicking the Turn Editing On button in your course. Then, scroll down to the bottom of the relevant section and click Add an Activity or Resource. Then, from the menu that appears, click Quiz. On the editing page for the new quiz, start by giving it a unique name. Then, if desired, you can give your quiz a description. The description can include details such as the number and type of questions that will be seen in the quiz, as well as any helpful resources that students can refer to before beginning. Next, you can set the timing for the quiz. This can include details such as when the quiz opens, closes, and how long students will have when they're in the middle of an attempt. In this example, students will have a period of 24 hours in which they can attempt the quiz. However, once they start their attempt, they will only have 20 minutes to complete it. If the time expires before they are done, their open attempt will be submitted automatically. Next, you can select the grade settings for the quiz. This can include selecting a grade category, if you have any set up in your gradebook. This can also include the minimum required grade to pass, as well as how many attempts students are allowed to make on the quiz. In the Review Option settings, you can select what information students will have access to after their attempt. On this page, you will see three relevant columns of checkboxes. Of these, there's Immediately After the Attempt, which is the two minutes after students click the Submit button. Also, there is Later While the Quiz is Still Open, which is the remaining time before the close date. And then there's After the Quiz is Closed, which represents any time after the quiz is shut down. Of the possible review options, there's the attempt, which allows students to see the questions they had on the quiz, as well as what answers they provided, whether they're correct or not, the number of points they received on the quiz, any feedback messages they received, as well as the given correct answer for each question. After selecting review options, you can then enter in additional settings. This can include extra restrictions on attempts, such as password protection, Restrict Access Settings, and Activity Completion Settings. Once you are finished with the quiz settings, click Save and Display. After creating the new quiz, you will receive a notice that no questions are yet added to the quiz. In order to add questions, you can either click Edit Quiz on the front page, or in the Settings menu. To add questions to the quiz on the Edit Quiz page, click the Add button on the side. You will be given three options, add a new question, add from question bank, or add a random question. If your question has not yet been added to eClass, select add a new question. Otherwise, for any questions that you've created in the question bank, click add from question bank. In the menu that appears, select the relevant question category, and then check off all the questions you wish to add to the quiz, and click add selected questions to the quiz. After multiple questions have been added, you can manipulate how many questions will appear on each quiz page, either by clicking the Page Break button, or by clicking on the Repaginate button. If you are composing a quiz that will contain multiple parts, you can add section breaks by clicking Add between pages, and selecting Add a new section heading. Then you can use the pencil icons to give each section a name. If you wish for the questions to be delivered in a random order for any section, click the Shuffle checkbox, which will deliver the same questions in that section, but in a random order for each student. On this page, you can also change the point value for each question. For example, on the essay question, I can change the point value to weight it more heavily on the quiz. You can also change the final calculated point value for the quiz in the Maximum Grade field. Once the structure for your quiz is complete, you can then go back to the quiz page, and then you can use the settings menu in order to preview your quiz.